On September 23, 2008, the first commercial version of Android known as Android 1.0 was released. Android 1.0 was released to the public in 2008, and it was so old that it didn't even have a catchy code name. Android 1.0 introduced capabilities such as an internet browser, camera, Gmail synchronization with the Gmail application, YouTube, Google Maps, and calendar synchronization, despite being an initial version. Android 1.5 Cupcake 2009 The first major Android upgrade got a new version number and was also the first to employ Google's dessert-themed naming scheme. Cupcake was notably the first Android version to include an on-screen keyboard. Manufacturers had to include physical keyboards on their devices before that. Widgets were supported in earlier versions of Android, but third-party developers couldn't create and implement them. With Cupcake, Google made the widgets SDK available to third-party developers. Before Cupcake, Android did not support video capture, so users with older versions of Android could only take images. Compared to the prior two public versions, Cupcake has a lot of new features and improvements. Project manager Ryan Gibson has typically been credited with naming Android versions after suites. His motivations for employing such a name practice, however, are unknown. Android 1.6 Donut 2009 Android Donut users receive a huge update. Donut was designed to make Android more user-friendly, but the most significant changes were not very evident. Donut was the first Android version to support several screen sizes, allowing manufacturers to make devices with whatever display sizes they chose while still running Android. Android 2.0 Eclair 2009 A year after Android was first released, Android 2.0 Eclair made its debut, bringing some massive changes to the operating system. Eclair was the first device to feature Google Maps navigation, while well, Maps has changed a lot since then. A few essential features showed up in the service that's still present today, such as turn-by-turn -turn navigation and voice guidance. Although there were turn-by-turn -turn navigation apps at that time, they were expensive, meaning Google's move to offer Maps for free was pretty disruptive. The internet browser in Android Eclair also got revamped for the new operating system. Google added HTML5 support to the browser and the ability to play videos. There was also the lock screen, which got a significant refresh and allowed users to swipe to unlock. Android 2.2 Froyo 2010 Four months after the release of Android 2.1, Google released Android 2.2 Froyo. The additional now standard dock at the bottom of the home screen and the first incarnation of voice actions were both key front-facing features in Froyo. The Nexus One arrived with Android 2.1 out of the box in early 2010, but received an over-the-air update to Froyo later that year, which was a first for Google. Android 2.3 Gingerbread 2010 The Nexus program was finally coming into its own, and the release of Gingerbread confirmed that. Gingerbread was another great Android refinement and saw a redesign of Android stock widgets and home screen. Gingerbread also came with an improved keyboard, which offered new coloration for the keys, as well as improved multi-touch support, which allowed users to press multiple keys to access a secondary keyboard. Much to users' delight, Gingerbread added support for the front-facing camera. Android 3.0 Honeycomb 2011 Honeycomb was an interesting release simply because it targeted tablets. Honeycomb revealed a few design elements that later appeared in future Android versions. Instead of using the traditional green Android color to highlight the operating system, Google went for blue accents. Moreover, rather than having to choose home screen widgets from a plain list, previews for individual widgets were provided. The fact that Honeycomb did away with the physical button was perhaps the most significant change. Instead, the program provided virtual buttons for the same back and menu buttons, which could be hidden or visible depending on the application. Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich 2011 Google and Samsung paired up once again for the release of the Galaxy Nexus, which showcased Ice Cream Sandwich, an operating system that brought many of Honeycomb's features over to the smartphone. The operating system brought over virtual buttons, as well as a tweaked and refined interface that made use of the blue highlights. Other small features such as face unlock, data usage analysis, and new apps for mail and calendar were also included in this update. Android 4.1 Jelly Bean 2012 Android 4.1 Jelly Bean was released on July 9, 2012 with the primary goal of improving the user interface in terms of both features and performance. Graphics were given extra attention, and technology was included to allow the interface to run at 60 frames per second for a smooth and responsive experience. Multi-channel support, unlimited playback, and USB audio all increased sound quality. Third-party apps were also given better features. The most notable change was Google Now, which would be accessed with a short swipe up from the home screen and displayed information such as calendar, appointments, emails, and weather forecasts all in one place. 
Google's first big attempt at a digital assistant, the feature provided a framework for subsequent iterations of digital assistants, including Google Assistant. Android 4.4 KitKat 2013 The launch of Android 4.4 KitKat coincided with the premiere of the Nexus 5, and it came with many great features. KitKat represented one of the most significant aesthetic changes to the operating system to date, modernizing the look of Android. The blue accents found in Ice Cream Sandwich and Jelly Bean became a more refined white accent. KitKat also brought things like the OK Google search command, which allowed users to access Google Now at any time. It also brought a new phone dialer, full-screen apps, and a new Hangouts app, which offered SMS support along with support for the Hangouts messaging platform. Android 5.0 Lollipop 2014 with the introduction of the Android 5.0 Lollipop in the fall of 2014, Google revamped Android again. With Lollipop, Google introduced the still-in-use material design standard, which gave Android and even other Google products a completely new look. The card-based concept that had been strewn over Android became a primary UI design, guiding the appearance of everything. Other improvements to the UI include a redesigned navigation bar, rich notifications for the lock screen, and more. The Nexus 6 smartphone and Nexus 9 tablet were the first devices to come preloaded with Lollipop. Android 6.0 Marshmallow 2015 In Marshmallow, the app menu has almost completely changed. Google used a white background and added a search bar to help users quickly find the app they needed. Android Marshmallow also brought the addition of the Memory Manager, which allowed users to check the memory usage of any app used within the past 3 to 24 hours. In Marshmallow, users got access to a more comprehensive set of volume controls, allowing them to change the volume of the device, media, and alarms. Security also got a pretty big boost within the operating system. Android officially supported fingerprint sensors, beginning with Marshmallow, and permissions got a significant revamp. Android 7.0 Nougat 2016 Google's mobile operating system version 7.0 was released in the fall of 2016. Better multitasking functions for the growing number of devices with larger displays, such as split-screen mode and rapid switching between apps, were among Nougat's numerous new features. The unveiling of the Google Assistant was perhaps the most important of Nougat's improvements. The Assistant would go on to become an important part of Android and most other Google products and is now perhaps the company's most important project. Nougat has an inline reply feature for messages and notifications, so users don't have to open their Messenger app to respond quickly. Android 8.0 Oreo 2017 Android Oreo took the Android platform to version 8.0 and brought a ton of multitasking features. Picture-in-Picture Picture and Native Split Screen both made their debuts in Android Oreo, where users could continue watching their favorite Netflix shows while browsing the web. Android Oreo also gave users a lot more control over notifications since they could turn notification channels on or off. Notification channels allowed users to sort notifications based on importance. Android 9.0 Pi 2018 In August 2018, Android Pi was introduced. Android Pi introduced a hybrid gesture slash button navigation system that replaced Android's standard back, home, and overview keys with a multifunctional home button and a small back button a universal suggested reply system for message notifications, a new dashboard of digital well-being controls, and more intelligent algorithms for power and screen brightness management were all included in Pi's productivity features, a smarter approach to handle Wi-Fi hotspots, a welcome variation on Android's battery saver mode, and a range of privacy and security changes were among the minor but still substantial advancements concealed throughout Pi's filling. Android 10 2019 Android 10 marked a shift for Google. Google also announced a new logo for Android, as well as a refreshing color scheme. Android eliminated version 9's back button in the upgrade. Navigation gestures have replaced it and other Android navigation buttons in Android 10. Android 10 also features a new system-wide dark mode, potentially extending battery life and making the device's screen a bit less harsh on the eyes. The upgrade also includes many new customizable features, giving users a unique and immersive Android experience. Android 11 2020 Android 11 was released in 2020 and released smart device support. Furthermore, the update added message notifications as well as the ability to screen them without having to open the program. Users may also make app request permissions every time they use them. With the new update, apps will be unable to access data indefinitely in this manner. Permissions for apps that haven't been used in months are also revoked. Android 12 Android 12 is the 12th major release of the 19th version of Android. Although the OS's internal code was now Snow Cone, 
The software version was simply dubbed Android 12. On October 19, 2021, Android 12 was released alongside the Pixel 6 series. The user interface has been completely overhauled, which is perhaps the most significant update in this software version. Widgets are more user-friendly and flexible in their surroundings. For easy access, quick settings were reorganized into larger tiles. The settings menu has been redesigned with a larger font and a cleaner appearance. There are a slew of additional minor enhancements as well. Scrollable screenshots, prettier notifications, app search, simpler Wi-Fi sharing with nearby share, one-handed mode, audio selection access from the media player, and more are among the new features. Subscribe if you love evolution videos as much as we do.